That old early morning sun's about to break on the horizon. The coffee's a perkin, <laughs> and the bacon's a cooking, and it's time once again to head on up to Sportsman's Lodge and visit with Ron Jones. Good morning. Glad to have you with us on Sportsman's Lodge. I'm Ron Jones. We're on every Saturday morning at 6 a.m. following Battle Home in the Tri-States. That's my other program that comes on at 530 and I certainly appreciate you watching our programs, doing business with all of our sponsors, and be sure to tell them that you saw their advertisement on Sportsman's Lodge and down home in the Tri-States. If you're an advertiser, need to advertise, want to advertise, want to get some customers in your business, give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. I want to say good morning to Robert Baldwin in Mariana, Florida. Good morning, Mr. Robert Baldwin. Also, good morning to Richard and Melinda Stanford. Ran into them at Shell Landing the other day, and uh, they helped me. I was by myself. They helped me get the boat in and out or out. And we certainly do appreciate good morning to Richard and Belinda Stanford. Also, I want to tell you about a viewer that's got a 38-foot Chris Craft uh, Commander twin Detroit diesel engines, engines only 2,100 hours on them, uh, included as a Garmin GPS with the Florida Coast chip, new AC, new uh, upholstery, stovetop, refrigerator, microwave, TV, assorted poles and fishing gear. It's Coast Guard approved bathroom system, new batteries and charger. Uh, has a Ferno depth sounder and much more, including dishes. Uh, the boat's docked at Watson, well kept, excellent condition. Documents documented at worth fifty thousand dollars. But with the economy as it is, uh, they need, do need to get at least thirty-five thousand dollars. And uh, like I say, that's, that's a pretty good deal right there, thirty-five thousand dollars. And the boat is docked at Watson Bayou, and uh, we certainly do appreciate it if uh, y'all check that out and help those folks out. We also got a chance for someone to make easy $500 cash money. $500 cash money. See this vehicle right here? It's a Honda Recon 250ES. It was stolen, folks. If you know anything about this or can lead to the arrest of the folks that, that stole this thing, call the number on the screen right there. We'll put you in touch with the owners of this, the real owners, and uh, no, nothing be said. Your won't, name won't be told to anybody. Uh, you, you know, don't worry about that. Just let these folks know if you know where this thing is and you got your 500 easy cash dollars. So just call it. I'm on the screen there. And these, both of these were stolen from the same place, from a hunting lease. And uh, let's help these folks out. If you know where they are, you know, do a good deed. Let's, let us know and get you some money, okay? $500, folks. Y'all watch these messages. We'll be right back with Sportsman's Lodge. AMH Automotive has moved to a bigger and better location to better serve more customers. 5213 East Business Highway 98. Come let Mike do it. Y'all come see me at my new location. From little cars to big trucks or anything in between, we can take care of your automotive needs. All minor and major repairs from brakes to overheating to head gaskets, let Mike do it. Give us a call. We might be able to solve your problem on the phone. If you don't know where to take your vehicle to get the job done, take it to Mike. Now located at 5213 East Business Highway 98, just west of Mr. Bingo. Come let Mike do it. Locked out of your car? Call Mike. He'll get you back on the road. When you need to get the job done, nothing beats the reliability, efficiency, and value of a Kubota. And right now, during Kubota Rewards, take advantage of zero down and 0% APR for up to 60 months on new Kubota garden tractors, compact tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles. It pays to own orange. See your Kubota dealer today. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. Holiday on Wheels providing RV funds since 1976, and we're going to continue the tradition. All new Class A's, exciting new Maradas, bunks for the kids, beautiful new Concords, travel trailers, largest parts and accessories in the area with some 70% off. Quality selection and service techs are second to none. Best financing in years. Now is the time to step into your dream RV. You want to find out how Wheels come to Holiday on you was on the show last year looking for some some some, some new members for right. the hunting club, and yep. and you got some off of the show. I sure I did. I and, sure uh, did. Back uh, again this year. Well, have you got some happy happy campers now? They got a good lease. Yeah, yeah, they do. And you've been up there. You know what it's oh, like. Oh, I'll tell you what. It's yeah. a fine place. So yeah. Charlie's got a couple more slots open. He wants to tell y'all about. Yeah, it. Bear Creek Hunting Club up in Calhoun County. 
We've got 15,000 acres. It's dog hunting and still hunting. We've got excellent uh, turkey, and uh, we're uh, looking for some new members. And if you'd like to uh, like to give me a call and get some information, call 850-392-1174. That's my office number. And if I'm not there to answer it, my, my uh, voicemail will get it, and I'll call you back. Y'all gonna have uh, David Cooler up again? Next David's year? coming back again this year. He'll be back uh, or next. Actually, it'll be 2013. He, he usually comes during rut during January. We didn't. Y'all remember last year we did a show with David and, and Charlie and and Possum and uh, yeah, you know, Possum something else. Ain't yeah, it? he is. Yeah, but uh, so that's uh, that's in Calhoun County. How many acres you got over there? Fifteen thousand acres. Fifteen thousand acres. We got a... Juniper Creek runs right through the middle of it, Good. from the northwest corner to the southeast corner. Good place, folks. Uh, if y'all looking for a good hunting club and uh, with a lot of space, uh, call Charlie. Numbers on the screen right there. I'll tell you what, you can be one of the happy campers too. They got yeah. campers, put yeah, your we, camper and everything. Yeah, we there. got a camp up there. Uh, we got a well. We got a cook shed. We eat good up there. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You can eat. look at our Facebook page, Bear Creek Hunting Club. Bear Creek Hunting Club. That's on, on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Right. But Charlie, I appreciate it, man. All right. And good luck. Good to see you. Maybe we'll see you up there this All year. Y'all right. stay with us, folks. All right. Folks, well, Joe Riley, Rhino Boats in Hartford, Alabama, he called me the other day and he said, Ron, I got your new boat ready to go, new Rhino. I said, well, Joe, ain't, what's wrong? ain't nothing wrong with the other one, the old one. He said, well, I said, you know, it's got a, never had any trouble with the motor on it, never had any leaks in it, it's all welded. And, and uh, you know, it's been a perfect boat. I, he said, well, one thing, this one catches bigger fish. I said, I'll be right up there, though. So this is it. It's one of his new boats, and uh, it's called 15 Fisherman. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing good. Appreciate it. If this catches more, a bigger fish for you, let me know. I'll take two of them if it does. Well, if it does, we'll have <laughs> this thing. Yeah. We'll but, go uh, up on price if you can catch bigger fish. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a nice, nice boat. And how long have you been building this one? I guess this is the fourth or fifth, maybe the sixth one we've built. It's a new model. Yeah. Uh, We've tried to keep the price down and give the man a, a boat this size with the features mostly that the big boats have got, like Air Raid Livewell, Rod Box, uh, of course, a uh, bilge pump and lights and everything. It's, uh, it's a nice boat at a little bit more reasonable price. I, that's what I can say. I think considering everything this boat's got, that is a very, it's priced right. It's got a, a, an affordable price on it. And, it's an excellent boat, just like all the rhinos, the fish out of it. It's a good deep boat. Okay, so this this is, uh, the system itself is stainless steel, is that right? Yeah, that's right. This is the uh, the Worth system. You know, Worth is the first people ever, I think, to ever make the, uh, the anchors that roll up. And this is the old company, but it's a stainless steel system. And it's a, okay. now, this anchor system goes to the back. You see, the, the driver, if he's by himself, can operate both of them. Oh, so it kind of, your wife right, ain't got to worry his, about it. Absolutely, when he's got his wife back there, she don't have to operate the anchor. He operates it right here. Yeah, she might not want to go the second time if she had to, <laughs> yeah. had to crank the anchor up. It's good size, it it's aerated. Good, size. good uh, size. When you get that full of uh, your size fish, uh, well, you, first thing, you'll be over the limit by a tremendous amount. Well, I'll but, be gone uh, a month, too. You'll be gone a month, and uh, your wife will be left you, but it's time to come scale fish <laughs> anyway when you get it full. That's right. <laughs> Well, the battery system. Well, you two batteries. Of course, everything we put out, all rhinos go out, anything above a 20 horse motor has got a water separating fuel filter. Okay. Well, this fuel we buy nowadays, we need all the help we can get, and that's just a must right there. And, uh, and, and a good recommendation is to, to use non ethanol. If you can find it, that's extremely it. good because yeah. ethanol is uh, giving us fits, it's giving everybody fits. Yeah, and it's, it's not good. I mean, the non We've, We the have even got pictures of. Uh, of motors we cleaned the carburetors perfect 29 days later he came back it wouldn't run good and we took pictures and got a, we got them in if we show people you wouldn't believe what the carburetor looked like in just 29, 29 days. days sitting up without running oh man could not believe it what's got on this motor here is that a, that's a 40 a 40 40 honda 40 honda four stroke four stroke tilt and trim stainless prop it's uh you got a honda there you got a five a full five year warranty and it's Pretty much bumper to bumper. It's about the best warranty we see. It's Honda's warranty. It's not something you buy. It's extremely good warranty. And the bottom line, if we sell it, we'll service it. Well, Whatever fixing, we do, we can service it. I was fixing to ask you if you, uh, if you, if they buy that boat and motor here, they can bring it back and get it worked on. We, we can uh, service in house everything on this motor motor except the fish finder. If we had to do something, we can swap out or, or send it back. 
right. and a hummingbird fish finder. We have several different styles. That's a 718, I believe it's on this, but we have several different different fish finders and a Minn Kota 45 pound thrust trolling motor. 45, that's good. And the switch is right there for bilge pump, your, your aerator pump, uh, your lights, and I think we've probably got an accessory switch there also with the dextry. And right there is a 12 volt plug in, like you plug your telephone or anything in like that. All right. Kind of charger. Some people have spotlights. Just, it's just uh, extra in case you need it. And it's all right there at your hand. Right, so. It's your hand, and then of course we've got a little storage up front also. Oh, yeah. And all these motors from 40 up, the Hondas and my Suzuki's also come with a tachometer. And the Honda's got an hour meter on it. Okay. Tells you how many hours you're running. All right. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, I'm excited about this. It's, I love this boat. It's, uh, I, I like all the rhinos, but this is, this, I like this little old 15 Fisherman. It's, uh, uh, well, it has, it's been well received, it sure has. I'd say it's a little bit better price, and uh, it's got everything the big boat's got. And it comes with a, a spare tire. Oh, everything has a spare tire. Got you. Everything that leaves here has a spare tire, and everything above a 25 horse has got a stainless prop if the people want it. You know, it's got their choice. So, uh, tell me this. Tell me about the name and everything on it. It's... Well, 15 Fisherman. Uh, it was discussed. Maybe a different name. We didn't know. Uh, we thought we might let you name it. It had to be just 15. Then. 15. Yeah. Well, last time you know you and I fished. I guess I didn't know a lot. I've fished the Gulf. I don't know 50 something years. And we've deep sea fished a lot of times. We caught tons of squirrel fish. Tons. Tons. But you and I went and we caught one, you caught one little fish, first little squirrel fish I've ever seen. And you called it what kind of perch? A sand perch. Sand perch. Uh -huh. And I noticed as that day went along, whatever we caught, if it was some kind of a off breed, uh, like a toad fish or uh, what we always call lizard fish, you had a very proper name for everything. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it sounded real good when you caught them, I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know if that's just what you do when you're on television or, you know, I don't well, know. It's, it's but, stuff uh, you learn, you know, when, you, when you're a professional fisherman. You know, it's stuff you learned over the years. So you, you know. could have maybe named it a more proper name. I don't know what it would have been, though. Yeah, the, all right, well, Joe, I appreciate it, and uh, thank you very much. We appreciate much, it. And, uh, we I'll, appreciate it. Sure I'll report back to you. First day we get out fishing, I'll report back to you. Let us know what it does and what we, if we need to change anything. I'll do that and uh, just make room in your freezer. Oh, boy. Well, I'll make a lot of room. Because I got a bag of fish. I'll you. tell my wife, Ron's going fishing, make room in the freezer, and I don't know what she'll say. Take that one bag of peas and put them somewhere else. You ready? What he's going to catch and bring <laughs> in here to us. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Y'all stay with us, folks. It's the next best thing to the old vegetable truck. It's Main Street Market in Chipley. Owned and operated by Paul Davidson, Main Street Market stocks the largest selection of good fresh fruits and vegetables and a whole lot more. We sell wholesale or retail. From fresh local milk. That's so cheesy, creamy milk. To a complete line of Amish products to livestock and pet food. We now offer a full line of Seminole feed. We also carry a full line of frozen vegetables. All types of Amish cheese. We have Amish butter. That's one of our specialties. Hey, you need it? We've got it. Top quality coastal Bermuda horse hay year round. Main Street Market. We're located on the corner of Highway 90 and 77 in Chipley, Florida. Hello folks, Ed Holly, Holly Outdoors in Bluntstown, Florida. At Holly Outdoors we sell Bobcat mowers. You won't find a better zero turn mower. From the 36 inch cut and up, we've got what you need. You can get a 61 inch cut zero turn Bobcat mower with a commercial deck and a commercial 28 horsepower engine, $5,700. Shop around, then come to Holly Outdoors in Bluntstown, Florida, get your best deal on a Bobcat mower. Innovative Glass. Together, Mark Moody and Tim Johnson have over two decades of experience in the glass industry. Mark and Tim have made Innovative Glass a success story. Innovative Glass has the most up-to-date equipment that you won't find at a lot of other glass companies in the area. They specialize in residential and commercial. Anything from shower doors, tabletop glass, and special made-to-fit windows and doors, Innovative Glass can handle small and large jobs, including big condo development window and door replacements. Innovative Glass has Sportsman's Lodge stamp of approval. Give them a call. It's 850-541-2417 and 850-541-2418. Innovative Glass, the professionals in Bay County. When buying meat, make sure it's fresh and that you know where it came from. Stone's Meats in Chipley, Florida is the butcher of choice in this area. Everything is made right here. We produce our own bacon, hams, and sausage. From smoked bacon, hams, and sausage 
to fresh cut beef and pork, Henry Stone and his staff know the business. Henry can custom cut. You like your steak three quarters of an inch or an inch and a half, we'll cut them however you like them. Folks, don't take any chances. Buy it fresh cut from the best. Stone's Meats, 1008 Highway 277, Shipley, Florida, 850-638-0673. Be safe. Call Stone's Meats today. We've said it for years, folks. When you do business with Stone's Meats in Chipley, Florida, you know where your meat's coming from and you know that it's safe. fishing again but I want to catch some fish and uh, we're at the Gap Lake today and there's a Washington County a little windy uh, water's low a little hot all the bad conditions but uh, we're gonna try it anyway so we'll uh, we'll check back we all want to get in the water so y'all stay with us. Sportsman's Lodge I'm Ron Jones Eric Jones on the camera there appreciate it Eric smaller than that last one. What we did is uh, we moved up back over here where I caught that other one. We wasn't doing anything over there. I figured, well, I'd go over and try it. You know, I always like to make sure. And that's where we come. Dropped in, got another one. Like I say, it ain't as big as that other one, but uh, we're going to put it in live well because if we get us a mess of these little things, we'll keep them. I'm ready for some good brim. And these are real good out of gap here. Put another cricket on. I'll hook different ways on my crickets. I've been hooking them coming right behind the head on the back, coming out the butt. I know it don't sound good, but anyway. Coming out the butt. That's the way I've caught these last two, so I'm going to try that again. Going back over where I was. Right in there. Like a little bass. Yeah, that almost looked like he was giving you a little fight. It is a little bass. They're tougher than the other guys, aren't they? A little stronger, I think. Yeah. Even when they are small. That was a small bass. one, ain't he? Little old guy. Have you got water problems? Pump won't pump. Do you need answers and solutions, but you don't want the runaround and you want someone honest? Well, have no fear, folks. Do what I did. 
call the man Water Dan. Dan Dubos will take care of your problem. Hello folks, this is Water Dan. I work on submersible pumps, jet pumps, do repairs and upgrades, anything to do with an existing water well. I would appreciate it if you call. Call the man Water Dan. He'll take care of your water problems. 850-535-9308. 535-9308. Folks, you know why people from Washington, Jackson, Holmes, Bay County, you know why they call Water Dan? Because Dan Dubos knows what he's doing. Y'all give him a call. Here at King's Outdoors, we have all major brands of handguns, shotguns, rifles, scopes, and accessories, including Browning, Beretta, Savage, Remington, and Marlin. We have an extensive selection of ammunition, including Remington, Federal, Winchester, and Hornady. We also have a full line of hunting accessories, including calls, decoys, and scents. King's Outdoors can take care of your hunting, fishing, and shooting needs year-round. Here at King's, we'll work hard to earn your business and keep your business. Y'all come see us. I never look for answers on the wind I never counted on the stars But there were times I took it on the chin And just like you I've got some scars But scars don't You ain't dig that lap, You can learn to let it go if you let love melt your heart Like sunshine melts the snow Just like sunshine melts the snow You say you feel like you're half not whole You need a little time to heal You tell me you've become so numb inside and you've forgotten how to feel But you've held on to heartache so long You can learn to let it go If you let love melt your heart Like sunshine melts the snow Go get you one more I'm going right as the sun's coming down. Right the sun. Those are the right size, size too. All right size to them too, ain't he? Yeah, about the size of all the rest of them. Yeah. They just all run about the same size. And we've been on Gap Lake today. That's in Washington County. And uh, there's some big fish in here. We just didn't get on them. The uh, wind been blowing. Wind, wind settled down now. And uh, that, it's just settled down with that last fish I caught. And this is the way I like it, but unfortunately it's getting dark, so we gotta get back to the landing and uh, get the boat loaded, go to the house and cook dinner. But uh, we appreciate y'all being with us and uh, watching us on Sportsman's Lodge. And be sure to watch at 5.30 every Saturday morning for Down Home in the Tri-States. It's a program, that, a new program we do. It's devoted to farmers and farming and gardening and gardeners and horses and cows and chickens and pigs and goats and whatever else there is out there. Y'all got any good ideas? Y'all give us a call. We'll be glad to come cover it. And uh, we just, we do a little, little bit of everything. On Down home in the Tri-States, 5.30 on WMBB every Saturday morning followed by Sportsman's Lodge. And uh, we'll see you at 5.30 next Saturday. How about that? The cord of Big Horn, our Broken Horn is now in session. Uh, what we got going on, Marshall? Well, this Pablo. He stole some uh, red and white stallions down there by the river. And what proof we got that he's the one that did it? Well, I'll tell you, some guys seen him, and not to mention that they put it on a warrant sheet, and not along with that, he comes into town and says, I ain't the one that stole them red and white stallions. You know, right there, he just give himself away. Sounds good enough to me. Do uh, you think you can have a piece of hemp oiled up and ready by 7 tomorrow morning? I think I can. Put Hang him, him at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Sounds he good. He won't be stealing no more whoa, whoa, horses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, Bounty Hunter, that was my, my bounty I've been trying to collect for a long time now, and you come in and just steal him right underneath my nose. If you'd have been doing your job, you'd have had him.
Well, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take him. I don't think so. Whenever you're ready. Wait a minute. You just gonna shoot a man down like that in town? I'm not letting him take my bounty from me. You better put him in the jail. Please don't go home and try any of the things that you've seen us do here today. Uh, these guns are dangerous, uh, even with a blank. A blank can kill you or hurt you bad. So you'll never see a shoot right up on top of each other. There's a reason for that. They're, they're really dangerous. A fire flies out the barrel uh, a couple feet long, can burn the hide right off of you. Uh, so please don't try to go home and do anything like we do. If you find a gun or anything at home laying around, do not touch that. Go get a parent or an adult and show them where it's at. They'll handle that. You kids all hear me? I can't hear you. But uh, tell us a little bit more now about what people can see, what's going on here. But tell us, well, tell us, uh, got a good crowd here too. Well, this is all something that, like I spoke before one time, where we started it about 10 years ago. It was the family and community committee. We did it so that we could basically get the families together, keep them involved and it has grown in something that we're so proud of. Uh, like we just saw the uh, North Florida Wild West show comes out, they came out this year for us. Um, but we have families who are staying overnight, camping with the families. We had the sheriff out this morning who was talking about safety. He also talked and had his canine do a demonstration on what they do and all. We had a young man from the alligator farm, Chris Ellis, he came out. He talked about alligators and reptiles. We uh, also had the fire department's firehouse. It's a firehouse in which it teaches kids to, when there's a fire in the house, go to a low point, crawl through, touch the doorknob, don't just open it. It has smoke in the, in the house, and it's all about safety. Um, we had some health people from the health department talking about colorectal cancer and different safety things also talking about uh, diabetes and stuff like that. Um, with sponsorship from good people, we've been able to put all this on. And, but anybody who thinks they might want to do that and, and help us or come out and just enjoy it and be part of the, the, the event, um, they can give me a call at 850-535-2417 and I'll give them all the information so that next year they can come and be a part of it. And we're gonna look forward to y'all next year, okay? If you didn't get here this year, you'll be here next year. Here. But we'd also like to thank two sponsors that have made this possible. Um, one was Trey Hawkins, the other was Pastor James Guy, and uh, with their um, donations, with, it was possible for them to come out and be here with us. So, if y'all would please give them a hand for enabling. We give uh, each of the kids that are participating here a bike pack for school. In this bike pack, it has a lot of safety information.